Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. I am filming on my real big camera. I decided to film this video today, like, kind of out of nowhere, and I don't have my camera, it's at school. So, um, I just wanted to get on here. This video might get interrupted, but right now I'm at home alone, so I felt that this was the best time. But today is January 30th, um, and so I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but that's when I'm filming it. Um, if you're wondering why I have tank a tank top on when it's like January, my mom's friend is visiting us and she asked my mom to keep the heat at like an ungodly number. I think it's at like 70 something. It's so hot and I'm dying. So this is basically the only thing I can wear. Um, but today I just wanted to be like totally raw and transparent with you guys and like tell you what's going on. Um, it's been a while since I did like an update video um, and I just wanted to like tell you guys like what's been going on. Um, so, to, if you're new and you don't know anything about me, um, I'm a sophomore at the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I went to high school in Maryland. I'm from New York City, but I moved to Maryland when I was in, mm, well, I wasn't in any grade. I, it was the summer between fifth and sixth grade. So, I've lived in Maryland for like eight, nine years, um, and I do consider it home because that's like where my formative years were, but New York City's also home too. So basically, um, I was an average student in high school. Um, if you want to like know more about like get me getting into college, I do have like where I'm going to college video and I'll link that down below. Um, but basically at the end of last year, I made a video called The Truth About My Freshman Year or something like that. And I talked about like my struggles, but I really didn't open up all the way. And I just want to help like one person. Like, and if I could just help one person, this video will totally be worth it. Because I felt so alone when I was in this situation, and I don't want anyone else to feel that way. Um, but basically, at the end of my freshman year, um, so actually the end of my first semester of my freshman year. I got placed on academic um, warning, which is when the first time your GPA falls below a 2.0. Um, it was a big slap in the face to me. Um, I was such a good student, and um, I mean, I wasn't like a straight A student, but I graduated college a three eight with a three eight, and you know, like school had never been super difficult for me. I was able to get by, and I like knew what I was doing. Um, I did the IB in high school. I knew what hard work was. And so getting placed on academic warning was totally, totally not something I thought would happen to me. Um, I failed two classes at the beginning, like my first semester. Um, honestly, none of my friends even knew it was that bad. I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. Um, and you can say whatever you want about me, but like just because I failed classes doesn't make me dumb. And I want someone else to also understand that because it's just not the case. Um, and then at the end of my sophomore year, or at the end of my freshman year, um, in the spring, I was placed on academic probation, which meant my GPA again fell below a 2.0. I was totally that kid that went into second semester like, oh, I'm going to get off, like, warning, this is so lame, like, I'm so, like, stupid. Um, and it didn't happen for me. And, you know, like, that's okay. I look back on it now and I'm like, you know, like, yeah, you could have done more, but, like, there was so many other factors. Um, and then at the conclusion of my first semester of my sophomore year, I was again placed on academic probation, um, meaning I still did not get a 2.0. Um, I failed two classes every semester, um, and that's really hard for me to admit. And anybody who's in a class with me right now that is, you know, like, seeing this for the first time and being like, oh, I know her, like, this is the truth, like, I I'm not sugarcoating it. Um, but basically, I was inspired to make this video by Lily Rako, um, and I'll leave her video down below. But basically, I am transferring. Um, I don't know what my plan is, and this is subject to change, just like she said in her video. But I'm planning on coming home. Um, UMW, I have no, nothing really terrible to say about it. I think, and I know for a fact that that is some kids, like perfect fit. Um, it just never happened for me and I know exactly why. It's not where I wanted to go. It's not what I thought high school or college would look like. It's just not. Some kids like thrive in that environment. Um, it's too small. It's not. It's just not how I. My mom went to Wisconsin and my dad went to Michigan. So like my picture of what college would look like was just 
not what UMW was for me. And I know some kids love it there. And, you know, like, I wouldn't even say I hate it there. I met some of my greatest friends that I'll have for the rest of my life there. Um, but honestly, I was not ready to go to college. Everyone in my family went to college. They all went to four-year big universities. And, you know, like, that was, like, my family's thing. And there is, like, you know, something to the fact that if everyone in your family goes to college, you do feel the pressure to go to college. Um, and I do feel bad because I had every, like, opportunity, um, in high school to do something, like, great. You know, I had tutors, I had this, that, and the other thing. And, like, I think it's important to just know that sometimes everything you have in front of you is still not enough. Like, you know, I was homesick every day my freshman year and never got better. I was homesick, you know, even coming home every weekend, I was homesick. And I definitely handle it better now. I'm not as homesick nearly as much as I was my freshman year. I don't even think I am homesick, but I just hate it there so much that I'm like, I don't want to be here. Um, it has nothing to do with anything. Like, if you're planning to go to UMW and you're watching this video right now, this does not in any way mean that I don't endorse it at all. Um, I was a Washington guide. I gave tours for the school. Like, I'm, you know, in clubs, like... This is nothing about Mary Washington, it's about me. Um, and it's sad because I'm a type A person and I so, so, so hoped that this was gonna be it for me. Um, I was the type of person that thought I would never transfer, like I'm the type of person to stick it out, um, but I just can't anymore. Um, and you know, like I just want one person to know that like it's okay, you know, like, I was so paralyzed by fear to tell even my roommates, who are like my closest friends, that I was on probation. Like, what if they think I'm dumb? What if they think this and that? And honestly, if you have friends that think like that, then you're hanging out with the wrong people. And, you know, of course I don't know what they think about me behind my back or like anything like that, but I really do like think that it's a big problem just in general with people my age that like you feel so unsupported and uncomfortable talking to people that you live with about it. Um, I lied about the meetings I had to go to. I lied about, you know, how things were going. I lied and lied and lied. And that's just so un, like, it's just so unhealthy for your mental health, for everything. And, you know, this last semester, my first semester of my sophomore year, was the best I've ever done academically. Um, and it was the semester that I stopped caring about how often I was going home or what that person thought of me or what this person thought about me. It was the first semester where I just did whatever I wanted, like, and what I needed to do for myself. And, you know, like, there is a correlation between, like, just doing what you need to do and not worrying about what other people think. Because I was the person that cared about what every single person thought about me. I was mad at myself. I was like, oh my god, my roommate's gonna hate me because my roommate gets, you know, like, A's and B's and, you know, she's basically cruising through college. And more than half of my problem is I'm unhappy there. Um, I tried living in a dorm um, for two years. I've lived on campus. Um, I don't like it. I'm gonna be a commuter wherever I decide to go next semester. Um, you know, I could look back in this on this video in three months when the semester's over and be like, wow, how could I ever think that I was leaving Mary Washington like I'm staying? Um, I'm living my life like I'm staying. So I'm applying for housing, um, I'm doing everything, and then I just have to have a decision before I turn in my tuition, basically. Um, you know, like, I'm not writing this set in stone, like, you know, everything could change, but... At this point, I'm halfway through and I just don't see it changing. Um, Mary Washington is just not where I thought I would be going. And just like I thought, it's not where I want to be in the end. And um, for my own like happiness, I need to move back home. And I beat myself up because there are people in my life that I like scolded. I was like, how could you like come home every weekend like that? Like you need to try this, that, and that. And like... I just want someone to know, or literally everyone to just think about, like, how you would want to be treated in that situation. Because I treated people very badly. Like, I'd be like, oh, you're not trying, like, you're not trying to get involved, like, this, that, and that. You don't know anybody's story, and, you know, I could not even be, like, I don't have any obligation to even put this on the internet. And now anyone I go to school with can see this video. 
Um, but I don't have shame in it anymore. I am not like, I never cared that much about school. High school, it came easier to me. I think I was happier in high school. I lived at home, I, you know, like all this stuff. And um, my boyfriend and my best friend from home are both very school oriented. They, they like strive to always push themselves academically to do better. That's never been me. I have a lot of street smarts, but I've never been that book smart. And you know, I've just never cared. Like Alex is gonna kill me, but the first time Alex got a C in college, he called me crying. That could never be me because I just, that just never defined me. Like I'm always happy. I'm always positive. Um, I don't really get down on myself that often, um, but I'm type A and I had a plan in my head and now I'm changing it and I'm behind and that's something that's very hard for people like me to accept. Um, it's hard for me to accept the fact that I'm not going to be doing things on time, but there is no on time and like everybody finishes in their own time and I just have to do what's best for me and at this point I just don't think that that's going to be at Mary Washington. Um, I don't know where that's going to be. Like I, I'm going to transfer somewhere in state. Um, I don't know if I'm taking time off. Um, I don't know what's next for me and that's hard because if you talked to me in my where I'm going to college video, you will see a stark difference. I knew exactly what I wanted. I still do know what I want to do for a career. Um, I want to be a kindergarten teacher. I've known that since I was very young and that's not going to change. But the way, the route in which I get there is changing. Um, and that's okay. And I have been in therapy since I was like 10. Um, there's also a stigma attached to being in therapy, which I think is crazy. Um, in New York, everyone had a therapist. And then when I came here and I had one, people were like, oh, like, what's wrong with you? Nothing has to be wrong with you for you to want to talk to somebody who's not in your life. Um, it is nice to sit somewhere that and talk to somebody um, not judged, who's always on your side, who has no stake in what happens in your life. Like, you know, I'm so close with my mom and dad, but I can't tell them literally anything because some of it has to do with them. Or, you know, my dad is very, very, he works in education. He's very, very, very strict about education. And I think like that environment has fostered like, or created um, something in me where I can't always be open with them about, um, you know, school. And that's okay. And I talked to a therapist. I've had the same one for like four years now. Um, I've had like three about like throughout like different stages of my life, but, um, you know, that that's where I'm at right now. Um, I think that social media and especially YouTube does put like a highlight reel. I mean, like uh, everything on my channel is like what I love. My friends like going to Michigan games, going to the lake. Um, I thrive at home and like I don't thrive at school and you know like that's okay. I tried to live on campus and it didn't work but I can't say I never tried because I did try and I think that's important and of course I can probably like I'm telling myself this as I'm also telling you because obviously I haven't processed every emotion. Um, but yeah, listen, I'm nothing bad on Mary Washington. If you are planning to go there, talk to me. I still like, you know, there's aspects of it that I think are really great and will, will work really well for some people. Um, just not me. And please like, don't judge me for anything I'm saying. Like this is something that's like pretty raw, but I think it's going to help people because, you know, just to like reach out and talk to somebody. Um, and don't be afraid to like be the first one to say something like um, there's people in my life now that are like oh yeah I went through the same thing and I would have never once thought about how open they were when they told me about it um, and you know like there shouldn't be a stigma and it is really hard when you judge yourself and you you put yourself against other people um, you're really only in a race against yourself like you only want to be better than yourself and like you know at the end of the day like whatever you need to do for yourself is okay and I think I did a lot of like judging um, back when I wasn't going through anything hard and now that I'm going through you know something that's not in my life plan um, I can look back and say like that was really like shitty of me to do 
Um, if you know me in person, you know I have a life plan. I've always been like that. Um, and I've definitely had to let go of it um, and come up with alternate routes to my plan. But in no way am I, you know, throwing away what I had at UMW. No way am I saying I won't go back. I have no idea what's next for me. But it's just really looking like UMW is not in the cards for me. And honestly, if I were to go back, I probably would have picked a different school. That's no shade to UMW. That's no shade to the amazing people I've met there. It's just shade to myself because, you know, like, something that you think you want, when it doesn't go right, you think a lot about, like, what if I did this? What if I did that? But, like, if you do that to yourself, you get into a really negative mindset. And I do believe everything happened for a reason. And I talk to my mom about this a lot. Like, my mom's been through a lot in her life. My dad's been through a lot in life. Um, and if you know anything about my story, you know that my parents had me pretty late in life. Um, I'm adopted and my mom was 49 when I was adopted. And yeah, she had to go through a lot. And a lot of things had to go wrong for a lot to go right. And I think that I just need to trust. I'm not really religious. I do have a religion, but I'm not religious. Um, and I think I just need to trust that there is a plan and there is like light at the end of the tunnel um, and like just let it go. But yeah, I think this video is kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to like let you guys know. Um, I know I'm not really active on YouTube and I try and try and try. And I'm like, oh, I have a schedule, I have a schedule. Um, I'm just trying to like get through like days at this point and trying to like do my best so I can set myself up for like a better outcome later on. So YouTube's not really on my top priority list. But if you guys have any videos you really want to see, um, I'd be happy to film them for you. Um, I'm definitely around. I have, for my own sanity, I gave myself classes only on Tuesdays and Thursdays this semester so I could have more freedom in doing what I wanted. Um, that's mainly just for my mental health because that was suffering when I had classes five days a week. Um, and obviously that works for most people. Um, and it worked for me in high school, but it does not work for me now. So if you guys have any questions about anything, like, please let me know. I'm going to try to be more open about it. Um, don't leave any negative comments about anything I've said, like, we're all going through something and, like, you never know what someone else is going through, which is why I kind of wanted to shed light on this, but if there's one action I want you to take from this video, it's something that me and my friend Christy have been talking about, and that is to go, like, reach out to somebody. It doesn't have to be, it ha like, it could be literally anybody, but something, someone you haven't talked to in a while, anybody reach out to them because you never know what they're going through and just a simple hi could mean so much to somebody. So I know I'm not normally the sappy type that's like go out and take action but I just want one like just pick one person in your life and reach out to them. It could be your dog, it could be literally anybody but you are going to find so much more support generally, not always, don't quote me on that in finding someone who's going through the same thing as you. You're going to find so much support in that and holding it all in and pretending everything's fine all the time really does get to you. And part of what really, really, really helped me this semester was telling my roommates exactly what was going on because you can't fake it all the time. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Again, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.